Welcome back mga Kavero. Again, we divided the suppliers into six major categories and we are done with the first two major categories which is the venue, food and beverages, and the memories. Now we go to the third and fourth major categories which is the styling and planning expense and the attire. Styling and planning expense, ano ba to? Ito yung, syempre, yung plan, planning expense, ito yung mga gastos mo sa pagpaplana ng wedding mo or kung meron kang wedding planner, ito yung iaalat mong budget for that. For the styling naman, ito yung mga flower requirements. Kumbaga, ito yung magbibigay ng aesthetic value to your wedding. Or kahit anong klase ng event naman eh, syempre yung set up, yun yung magbibigay ng experience sa mga guests. Pwede yung makalimutan yung mga maliliit na detalye ng kahit anong klase ng event, pero yung food for the eyes, hindi makakalimutan. Through pictures, through video, makikita to. Usually sa mga couples, sa mga brides, ito yung isa sa mga top priorities nila, yung magandang setup. Okay, we now go straight to the entourage flowers. We will allow 3,500 for the basic, 7,000 for the mid-range, 10,000 for the upscale or, or the upgraded, and 15,000 for the high-end. Ano ba yung difference ng 3,500 to 15,000? Um, Siyempre, yung sa 15,000, mas mga imported flowers yung gagamitin. Mas malaki yung volume, mas rare yung mga flowers. Kaya siya mas mahal. Yung 3,500, um, kaya ako sinasuggest na mag-budget ng 3,500 para kahit pa paano, yung bridal bouquet, meron namang budget. Kung baga, special pa rin naman yung mailalagay ng flowers for your bridal bouquet. Siguro kahit Ecuadorian rose lang yan, or... Um, merong konting gypsophilia by the way, magkakaroon tayo ng separate discussions per event requirement so, kagaya nitong entourage flowers meron tayong separate discussion for that okay, going back ano ba yung laman ng entourage flowers? maliban sa bridal uh, bouquet nandyan din yung flowers for the moms flowers for the ninang flowers for the entourage and flowers for the male entourage yung mga botanaires so, syempre, habang dumadami yung members ng entourage mo, habang dumadami yung ninang mo, mas nagmamahal yung entourage flowers mo. Ang tip ko lang dito, uh, paganda yung bridal bouquet kasi ito talaga yung hahawakan ng bride. Ito talaga yung napipicturean eh, ng close-up. So, huwag niyong masyadong tipirin. And also, as a planner, as a stylist, or florist, ang take ko din dito, 50% of the budget will be allotted for the bridal bouquet. And then, the rest of the budget will be allotted for the entourage. So, ganun yung ginagawang discarded for that. Para sa akin. Siyempre, for the mid-range, 7,000, 10,000, yun nga, mas nadadagdagan ka lang ng uh, mas imported flowers or na mas mga magagandang flowers. Uh, kaya mas nagpamahal siya ng pamahal. So, yun lang yung difference niya. Okay, we now go to the church styling or the church setup. That's a lot. 5,000 for the basic, 15,000 for the mid range, 25,000 for the upscale or upgraded, and 35,000 for the high end. So, ano ba yung mga difference nito? Bakit nagmamahal? Siyempre, uh, mas mahal yung mga premium flowers or yung imported flowers over the local flowers. At saka yung volume din, yung, um, yung size ng flower arrangement. At saka syempre, yung laman. Um, ano ba yung usual yung laman ng church flowers? Ito yung mga entrance art, yung mga aisle arrangement, pwedeng 8 pairs sa aisle, pwedeng 10, pwedeng 12, pwedeng 6, pwedeng 4. Tapos minsan may naglalagay din ng garden aisle arrangement para mas feel na feel daw ng bride yung bride or march nila. And sa altar, pwedeng mas, malaki, mas malalaki yung mga flowers. So yun, habang dumadami, syempre, habang nagmamahal. And habang nas nagiging premium flowers, mas nagmamahal. Ako, ang take ko lang dito for the 5,000, minimal flower arrangement lang. Siguro yung mga sinasapit lang na very tastefully done na mga flowers na sinasapit sa chairs ng church. Tapos, um, uh, altar side ca candle and isang big arrangement lang sa altar. Wala ng mga entrance art. Kaya na yan sa 5,000. And yung all asters, magandang magandang alternative na rin yan for the church flowers kasi um, white tapos malinis and classy and it's timeless for the mid-range na 15 and 25,000 pero syempre dito magkakaroon ka ng mga medyo mas malalaking flowers a little premium and for the high end 
ayan, naging mga naka-pedestal ka na, pwede ka na siguro magkaroon na ng entrance art dyan and mas bigger arrangement for, for the altar. Okay, next, the reception flower setup or the reception styling. Ako, personally, and as a planner, ito yung isa sa mga top priorities ko na mapaganda. Um, lagi kong ina-advise yung mga couples ko or yung mga clients ko or yung mga brides na mag-alat ng budget for this. Kasi sabi ko kanina, ito yung food for the eyes. Ito yung nabibigay ng experience for the guest. Hindi makakalimutan kasi makikita sa photos, makikita sa videos. Okay, let's allot 5,000 for the basic, 20,000 for the mid-range, 80,000 for the upgraded, and 350,000 for the high-end. Ano ba yung usual yung laman ng uh, styling or flower setup? Of course, sa cocktail, cocktail, uh, sa cocktail area, andyan yung mga cocktail table centerpieces, yung setup for the registration table. Uso na rin ngayon yung mga entrance tunnel. Sa reception area, uso na rin ngayon yung mga merong um, ceiling treatment. And standard na dyan, syempre, yung um, centerpieces for the guest and yung setup for the VIP table. Of course, may flowers yung cake table and meron ding backdrop. So, ganun ka-extensive yung laman nitong requirement na ito. Ano ba yung discard ko sa 5,000? Okay, maraming mga caterer na meron namang kasama or lahat naman ng caterers meron ng kasamang standard setup. So, pwedeng wag nang masyadong uh, maraming demands. Wala, you can let go of the um, let's say cocktail table. Pwedeng mga candle votings sila yung centerpieces mo doon. Pwedeng wala na rin entrance tunnel. Pwedeng wala na rin ceiling treatment. Tapos, yung mga guest table, standard flowers na lang. Ako, ayoko gumagamit personally ng mga artificial flowers. Mas gusto ko na lang ng mga fresh flowers. Kahit, kahit local flowers lang na medyo um, um, mumurahin, like kagaya ng mga asters. Minsan naman, pag-execute na lang yan eh. Um, Mahiling nga ako magsabi, tastefully done. So, may, may mga paraan para makapag-execute ka ng mga magandang bagay nang hindi ko magastos. So, yung 5,000, ako, ito, in-spend ko to for the VIP table para maging maganda yung VIP table mo. Kasi, jet yan naman talaga yung pinakamalaking, ano eh, pag pinicture, kumbaga, it will represent the styling of your reception. So, sa backdrop, syempre yung elegant na lang, yung mga simple with minimal uh, flowers. Sa backdrop, I think I am okay on using artificial flowers. Sa cake table, mga simpleng mga maliliit na flower arrangement lang. Hindi naman lahat ng maganda ay mahal. So, minsan nasa pag-execute lang yan. So, ako mas pipiliin ko na lang yung may mga simple and minimal flowers over the artificial flowers. Alam mo yung feeling na kumakain ka tapos may artificial flowers sa harapan mo in a wedding. So parang medyo it's quite off for me. So hindi talaga ako fan ng artificial flowers for the tables, for the dining tables in, in a wedding. So may paraan dyan para makatipid. Um, pwede rin naman to let go na yung mga ceiling treatment. Alam mo yun, hayaan na lang nating manahimik yung ceiling. Uh, pwedeng huwag nang gumastas for that pero kung if gusto mo talaga ng pabongga uso na talaga ngayon yung mga seating treatment dito napapasok ngayon yung sa high end the budget yung 350,000 kasi syempre nandyan yung mga um, trusses, yung mga chandeliers and yung mga hanging flowers syempre huwag ka na rin gumamit ng mga fresh flowers for the seating kasi talaga magmamahal ka pero kung game na game ka sa gastusan your, your styling setup could go as high as millions mga um, mga imported flowers yung gagamitin sa table so wala eh hindi talagang talagang walang limit yan sa paggastos kung talagang gusto mo eh lahat palitan mo yung upuan palitan mo yung table palitan mo so lahat ginasusan mo pero para sa akin yung upscale or the upgraded na 80,000 this is a good working budget na para makapag-execute ka ng magandang setup for the wedding Para maganda yung setup mo for the VIP table, maganda yung backdrop mo. Kahit wala ka ng mga photo wall or mga entrance tunnel or the ceiling treatment, okay na yan. Makaka-execute ka ng magandang setup for your wedding. For the mid-range, yung 20,000, syempre, ayan, kahit pa paano, may, pang, may mas premium flowers ka na magagamit. For the basic, ayun na, pandagdag flowers lang siya to enhance. So, para ang tanong tawag ko nga dyan, um, 
budget for enhancement. Yun yung 5,000. Okay, next is the planning expense. Dito mapasok yung budget mo for a wedding coordinator or a wedding planner. Or if you plan to organize your own wedding, ito yung magiging budget mo sa pag-organize ng wedding mo. Yung transportation mo, syempre gas and toll. You meet with the suppliers. Diba? Um, hindi naman pwedeng water lang. So, hindi naman pwedeng lunok laway lang din. Diba? So, kahit pa paano, kagasas at kagasas ka rin dyan eh. And, yung time mo may value din yan. So, habang nag-organize uh, ka ng wedding mo, nawawalan ka din ng time for your business or you, for your job. So, may value din yan. So, try to consider hiring a coordinator or a wedding plan. Now, let's allot 15,000 for the basic, 20,000 for the mid-range, 45,000 for the upscale and 80,000 for the high end. Meron pang mga wedding planner na mas mahal sa 80,000 as go, as high as 120,000 and up. Pero yung 80,000, ito na yung average rate ng wedding planner. Now, meron 45,000 and 25,000 na mga on the day coordinators. Ayoko na masyadong mag-comment but um, sila talaga din yung mas reliable na wedding coordinators. Yung 15,000 na basic, I think they can do well also pero ito na yung based on my knowledge, ito na yung pinakamura na rate ng wedding coordinator. Okay, next is the attire. And these are the wedding requirements that are part of the attire. Of course, the bridal gown the groom's attire, the parents' attire, the entourage dresses, the male entourage suit, uh, syempre yung makeup and wedding ring. Basically, ito yung mga sinusunod. Syempre, nag-iiba-iba yung rate niya according dun sa preference and standards. Syempre, depende sa tela, depende sa big works, kung may lace ba yan, or yung kung ano man yung detalye na meron. So, pamahal ng pamahal yan. So, mag na lang yan according dun sa uh, label and dun sa name ng designer. Uh, for the makeup, syempre, mag, uh, uh, mag-vary yan kung traditional to um, airbrush makeup or kung kasama pa rin ba yung makeup ng entourage mo and uh, ng parents mo. So, we will have a separate discussion for that. Um, but, in general, here are the um, the figures for the basic, mid-range, up upscale, and high-end. Let, but, let me focus on the bridal gown. We are allotting 10,000 for the bridal gown, 25,000 for the mid-range, 80,000 for the upscale, and 120,000 for the high-end. Again, uh, depende sa materials, depende sa kung sino ang gumawa. For the entourage dresses, meron yung 2,000 per head. Ilagay na lang natin for the basic. For the mid-range, 3,000 per head. For the upscale is 5,000 per head. And for the high-end is 8,000 per head. So, ito na yung, uh, yung bracket ng mga mura up to dun sa medyo... Um, uh, high-end high na dresses for the entourage. For the wedding ring, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, and 60,000. Siyempre, depende na rin yan how do you want to invest in your wedding ring. Kasi after the wedding naman, you keep it and may value pa rin naman dyan. So it's up to you kung magkano yung i-allot nyo. But I am trying to allot 10,000 for the basic wedding kasi nga we're trying to uh, minimize the budget for the entire wedding. And then yung 60,000, para kahit pa paano, medyo mas makapal yung wedding ring ninyo, mas totoong uh, mga diamonds, kanyan. So mas madetalye. Um, for again, for the makeup, I will have a separate discussion for that. But of course, mas mahal ang airbrush makeup over the traditional makeup. And habang dumadaming yung makeup, mas nagmamahal. Okay, that's it na muna mga kabero. I will continue discussing on the next video. I discuss natin yung last two categories of the major requirements, which is the entertainment, the prints, and the others. See you! Thank you!